Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you my review on Concrete by Comme des Garçons. Stay tuned to FM. Concrete. A brand new fragrance by Comme des Garçons, only just come out. Let's start off by having a look at the fantastic bottle that this juice comes in. Wow, such a nice bottle. It's actually a glass bottle coated in real concrete. Really unique and would look amazing on the shelf in anyone's collection. Haven't really seen any bottles like this one before. So before we go into the fragrance itself, let's have a listen to what Comme des Garçons say is the idea behind it. In a world where concrete is ubiquitous, the mundane fabric of urban cityscapes, now it is given disparate context, the uniquely refined realm of perfumery. Here the prosaic is treated as precious, stereotypes subverted. A versatile material finds an unpredictable form. An exploration of destruction, construction and creation. Concrete is a fragrance where material preconceptions are deftly demolished, paving the way for something new. So, very poetic, pretentious. I'll let you make up your minds on that. So, really interesting concept behind this fragrance. It's about destruction, construction, creation. And I think it's meant to reflect society's views on the material of concrete and how a lot of people think it's an ugly, brutalist material but slowly we're changing our perception we're deconstructing the stereotype as Comme des Garçons say of concrete and it's now becoming used in designer contemporary architecture and I love concrete I think it looks great in the right context lovely polished concrete floors and walls I would love a house that had lots of concrete in it so when this fragrance came out I was really interested to try it not necessarily because I like the smell of concrete but I kind of like the idea behind it. So here's the fragrance. Thanks to the lovely folks at Phoenix in York, I have a sample, 1.5 mil, so nice bit of juice in here. If you haven't checked out Phoenix in York, if you're in the area, do check it out. The cosmetics department is just fantastic. It's the best in the area. So thank you for this. Let's talk about the scent itself. I tested this yesterday and sprayed it on my skin. The opening, I've got to say, it didn't wow me. There's a rosy, florally note there. It's actually an artificial rose note, which is listed as rose oxide, which Comme des Garçons say distorts a woody opulence. I'm not quite sure I really got that much woodiness from it. In fact, I didn't really get any strong notes coming from this fragrance. The floral note of the rose is quite subtle, and that's mixed in with a chalky, powdery scent, which may or may not be there to represent the concrete. The concrete name may just be there as a metaphor to represent society's views on concrete. So on the opening, not really that impressive, and it's not a strong scent, it's quite subtle. It didn't jump off my skin. It projected for an hour or two, but not really a strong projection. And then it just dried down to a skin scent, which became even more subtle after that. To me, it almost comes off as a little bit of a diluted uh, scent. And it doesn't have a wow factor that other rose-based scents, such as Tom Ford Noir de Noir give you. That is such an amazing scent that jumps straight off the skin in the opening and in the dry down, the projection is fantastic. This is much more subtle. Personally, this isn't a fragrance I would go for. I prefer a fragrance that makes more of a statement and projects more. Also, to me, this leans a little bit more on the feminine side rather than the masculine, but that's just my opinion. As a skin scent, which essentially is what this became on me, it was relatively pleasant. It wasn't unpleasant for people that would be happy with a fairly subtle, quite pleasant skin scent that doesn't necessarily get any compliments, but you can smell it on your skin and, and you enjoy that smell, maybe this is for you. But personally, not for me. I love the concept behind this fragrance. I love the thought behind it. I like the idea of destruction, construction and creation of concrete. I would be really interested if at some point a flanker to this fragrance comes out that suits me a little bit more, perhaps a bit more masculine, makes more of a statement and projects better on my skin. Until then, I won't really be wearing this one. Rating, 
The scent itself, personally for me, I would give it a six out of 10. For the overall package design and concept and thought behind it, I would give it a seven out of 10. The bottle is amazing and I really, really wanted to enjoy this juice a little bit more than I did so that I could have this bottle on my shelf and really enjoy wearing it. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna give this away to somebody. So if you would like this fragrance, if you think it would suit you or you'd just like to try it, there's plenty of juice left in here. You'll get a good few wearings out of it. All you need to do is like, comment, subscribe, Follow me on Instagram at fragmental underscore Chris and I'll pick a name at random and I will send this to you so you can enjoy it, hopefully. So there is my review of Concrete. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the fragrance if you do buy it. Please leave some comments and let me know what you think if you do own it. Please like, comment, subscribe, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.